Hey guys, it's Christopher and welcome to another Solaris tutorial. Um, in this video I'm going to explain how to easily make a shop. So there is this type of entity, shop treasure, that actually does all the work for you. Um, so you have a cho the choice. You can very well make a Lua script with some interactions with non-playing characters to make a shop and you script everything but um, if you want something easier without any script you can use this of course it will be less uh, you will have less freedom than um, if you were to do it really yourself with a script so let's try to make a nice little shop here. So okay, it looks like this. Uh, my door is not centered. <laughs> okay. And when you edit this entity, you can choose the treasure to sell, for example a heart, and whether it is saved, and the price. So let's say 10 rupees. Then you have to choose the font to um, display the price because it will be, I, I will show, show you, but um, it will display the the sprite of the heart and then the price with the font that you specify here and you also have to choose a dialogue and this dialogue will be displayed when the player tries to interact with the treasure with the shop treasure so let's make a dialogue shop dot um, heart <laughs> which means that we have to create this and the dialogue will say something like buy a heart to get a life point okay let's try and of course maybe you will want to put a real character here um, green merchant okay so in your re real game you will probably put a dialogue on the, the character but this is not the topic of this tutorial so okay here is here is how it looks you have the treasure and a replay icon with the price And when you interact with the item by pressing the spacebar, it says buy a heart to get a life point. So it says it shows the dialogue that you specified here. And then you have you have a second dialogue. So this one is um, displayed by the engine actually, and it must exist here. Is it's underscore shop? So all the underscore all the dialogues starting with underscore are actually um, triggered by the engine in some situations. So in this case, in the, in the situation of uh, shop treasure, shop dot question. So it is this one. So it must exist if you want shop treasures to work correctly. So if, if you say don't buy, nothing nothing else happens, and if you say buy. It will say sorry you don't have enough rupees. So this time it says not enough money. Okay. And the third one um, is useful for items that have the notion a, a notion of amount. Like um bombs and arrows, but we haven't I don't think we have these yet. Okay. 
items that have a maximum amount. Okay, so um, we should probably give some money to the player if you want to test this better. Okay, you found a heart. So, it works. <laughs> the, this treasure is not saved, so I can buy it several times. Okay, let's try, let's now try to make a treasure that will be saved. For example, a shield. And, okay, so third shield. So, as always, you have to save the boolean state of buying this sh this particular shop treasure in a variable so you can choose the name it will be global to the game and the price let's say only 20 rupees and we also will we also need a dialogue shop dot shield 3 okay Um, special price for the mirror shield. And since this one is sh is saved, uh, the big difference is that it disappears. And if you leave the map and come back. You will never find it again. <laughs> it is really saved. Okay. So as you can see, it's very easy to make a shop thanks to these entities. Just have to make the appropriate dialogues. If you forget them, don't worry, you will have nice error messages. For example, let's delete this one. Error no such dialogue shop dot shield three, so it's very clear that uh, you forgot something and you can easily fix it thanks to this error message. Okay. Um. So there is not really anything else to say about shop treasures. Um. So if you have any questions, any question, feel free to ask. And okay, thanks for watching this video and see you next time. Take care. Bye.